Make sure that those are the rakes out there on the porch. The what? Here's the package that they must have delivered when I wasn't paying attention. Uh-huh. And it's very oddly shaped, similar to when we packed or wrapped the shovel for Judah. Can you see it? Yeah. What is it? Rakes. What's a rake? A rake that you rake oh, things with? I ordered a rake? I ordered three rakes. Yep, three leaf rakes in that box. <laughs> also, these um, pink cups came today. I'm gonna plant, or use those to start some plants that I can hopefully have planted out this fall. Oh, ooh, it's on. Look what I just created. By myself. my green beans and now we're all growing look I don't even have flowers but my beets are growing and all all there is is dead plants I hate dead plants look how long these carrots are those are carrots I hate carrots Look how long my asparagus is. Hey, well now it's the camera weighs. It weighs like less than a pound. Wait, wait. Like a pound. I'm gonna go inside. I'm not going. Look at this dumb solar panel. These dumb box of rakes. I'm turning off the I know the I saw you flying yet. I want to be the one. Here comes who? Johnny. <laughs> Here comes Johnny! 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 We're gonna cut up the, as much as we can and get him on the trailer so we can haul him out. So now that they're dry, they're a lot lighter. They are? Yeah. Mom! What? Um. Well, no. It just rains, so I'm kind of bad, so. I'm not just going to put that stuff on me. It was just raining so much. And then, and when they shot, they shot. Where's the pipe? Your keys? No. Do you leave them in your car? You can carry them. Let's see, Mom. Let's see. I've been carrying them this morning. Hey, Mom, let's see. Oh, look. Oh, I'm uh, sorry, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it feels beautiful out here, doesn't it? What if it's come out of I think it's not later than 9 o'clock. Oh, it's bedtime, but no, it's not bedtime. Oh, I forgot they have to sit at 9 o'clock. Man, I don't get my extra hour of kidlessness. Why did you say we are What is that, a log? Oh, a pot? <laughs> Cattails. No. That's funny. Oh, these are really wet. Did you say that we are gonna go to Papa's house? A bucket too. <laughs> you found another bucket. Mama, and we found a croquet ball. I have a mustache. It's yellow. <laughs> Where's that put it? You should put it in the yard. <sighs> Bam. Brown shorts. Oh, that's muddy. Brown shorts.
What's lost? And they got all the cattails out of here. Did you actually take the last load? Yeah. So they're completely gone. Yep. So three loads out to Papa's house tonight. Papa's gonna compost them out at his house. Yeah, I'll need to rig them up and get one more to get a bag and yeah. trailer. Oh, you still don't think you can chip this stuff? No. It's not rigid enough. We could at least put it just in our own little compost pile and out there. Throw a bunch of cattails in the yard. We should dig a big hole <laughs> in the whole yard. Is he? Is there any strawberries left? There were a few the other day, but I ate them. I don't know if there's any more. Look at these starting to really bloom. I smell them. But Did you? Don't really do anything. That's all the ants. Getting a few on more leaves on it. That's where the ants are on that leaf. On that, yeah. that guy's doing good too. And look what I see on Justice's peas. No, good, no. You see that, Justice? Did you eat one? No. Huh? How is it, Sally? Was it good? It tastes like a white one. This one is my dog. This dog is Maybe. No, it's not dog bit. No. I eat you. You found one? No. I just found one. You didn't found one? Here. Did you find some more? We got one more? Okay, let's go check your cherries. You got another? Okay, put it in. Are there any red ones? Okay, pull it. Ants all over the other ones. I don't think I've ever had cherries. I saw that one. Put it on our tray. That one's not red. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? It's like this big, a bug. Really? I'm not lying. Oh my gosh. Did it scare you? Just a second. Tree. Is this, is this tree? Oh. That's a blueberry. Is this a, like a, Who's in charge of blueberries? Me. Is this a ladybug? Cause it doesn't look like one. Though. Yeah, it's a different kind, isn't it? Yeah, I see one that was brown. Look, they're flipping their butts up and then they crunch. They're suffocating the ants.
little branches apparently that Uncle Gary has ready for us to haul home so we can chip them up. You don't have to ride with me. I'm only going like 30 feet. Do you ride like this? No. This will be like the shortest hay ride in history. I should, look the, I should clean up the van, now my gloves aren't in there, so I'm gonna have to use my hands. I he cleaned it up this morning. That's yeah. not my gloves There's three gloves in it. Oh, you didn't grab any because you thought they were in there? Okay, so you guys can load up all those branches onto the trailer. Try to get them down inside. Don't want to be sticking up. That's fine. Listen, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Mom. You guys might have to try to break it off those long pieces so that it'll fit down in there. We do diagonals. Yeah, that probably works. Mom. Mom. Do do it again. You're trying to help. We'll go get some of the small ones and help them. Go get those sticks on right there. That's fine. No, we're gonna have to break off those okay. top parts. I'll get the gloves back and mine. Yeah. And here, 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 here,
right there. Are you getting raspberry juice on your hands? You get a raspberry seed stuck in my throat or on this side of my tooth. You can put them in the basket and there's lots more still. Mom, do the brownie, do the pretty one. Good. Like in the inside. Mom, of course you got it with my tongue. Are you squishing it with your tongue? I'm just coming to water my little seeds that I started and I see that my wormwood is sprouting. I'm so excited. Ooh, look at that. All well, four of the cups have sprouts in them. Four out of the five. Isn't that exciting? Yes. It's like the thyme is also sprouting in one, two, three, four, all five of the cups. Yay! And some of the marshmallow is sprouting in one, two, three, Three of them, it looks like. And I'm going to switch the ones that have already sprouted to the same tray so that I can carry them outside sometimes if I would like to. And I still have actually a bunch more herbs that I'm gonna try starting, but um I'm waiting for more pink cups because I liked the pink and thought they were pretty, so I ordered more of those. Observing that our peppermint is just starting to get some flowers on it. This one smells, this part smells more like peppermint than the small ones. Does it? And Eden's pumpkins, these ones are doing pretty good. They're actually growing. The other ones, not so much. Judah's <laughs> corn is coming up pretty good here. Yesterday, Justice and I were out here working, and we were so excited to find this little tomato growing on his plant, but then he poked it and it broke off, and he was pretty devastated by that. And you just got one spinach growing, finally. <laughs> There's Asher in the asparagus jungle. stopped picking the asparagus for the season so that they can store up some energy for next year. And it's quite monstrous. <laughs> the asparagus is also starting to bloom. Asher's got some baby green beans growing. Look at the 
to do like this. Okay, I'll throw it like that. These are the crab apples. I think I might try to make some pectin out of those this year. And then all of these grapes over here are loaded. And this will be the first time we've got grapes off of this one. So I'm not sure what they're going to be like. I mentioned before that we didn't actually plant this grapevine. The birds did. And so this is just a new one that sprouted up by itself over here. Strawberry and Asher found one too in here and munched it up. It's here. <laughs> Please don't. Otherwise, I think they're all done for the year. Those crazy boys. And a droopy diaper girl. We need to go in and have some baths. <laughs> dock out of our garden so this morning I carefully went around and sprayed all the yellow dock with some weed killer you can see it's starting to turn brown now so hopefully we can get that stuff out it's got tenaciously deep roots and is very very difficult past ready so let's see if there's any more They're good, huh? They taste like all my favorite, well, most of my favorite things combined, like Mommy. apples, dirt, and <laughs> leaves. You like dirt? Yeah. Eating dirt. I like to eat dirt when I was little. I thought it was good. I would eat sand and sandbox. Did you? Milk whopper. Mom, can I pick the all the other you. peas that are there? I found a few of Pretty them. Pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Weed. That's a lot of bindweed, we especially because it hasn't been that long since we had it all cleaned up over there. Two weeks. It's amazing. We could not. It's supposed to be the thorns them. that choke the other plants, but not these ones choking the thorns. What we should do is instead of having like big pillows, all we need Look, to Mom. do is like get a crack bag and fill it with bindweed. And then I hope it flies away.
this crow if I, like, after we need to grow another crab apple tree. Every time I come here, it's always hard. I have it. Yeah, it's hard. 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 Yeah, Are you helping Dad, Sally? So, as you can see, when we had that plum branch that was broken off a while back. It was definitely um, from the kids hitting it with the zip line. Actually on that video I went back and looked and sure enough they were hitting it. So um, this tree is growing great this year but we kind of have a problem with how big it's getting um, with relationship to our zip line. I am excited just seeing how much fruit we're gonna get this year from this tree. This will be our first year of really getting anything from this plum tree. I brought these two trays outside this morning so they could get some sunshine. Um, most of the cups and these ones have sprouted something in them. So they're getting some outdoor time today. I'm hoping if we can get this whole area done, we're going to be putting in a rock path here and then building the bike shelter soon. And then I'm hoping that this will kind of break down so that here in a couple months before um, the weather gets cold, I can plant some of my herbs that I started there and kind of make a nice new kind of flower herb bed area over here. Tom has not been feeling well since our trip to Storybook Island the other day. He got some food poisoning, I think, from something he ate from the gas station. And he's finally agreed to let me try making him something to help him feel better. So I'm gonna look around for some sunflower plants real fast. Okay, well just do your best. Try to get as much as you can. If you can, you can move stuff around too. spot any sunflowers just right away so I'm just gonna take a little drive and see if I can find something. I'm planning to use sunflowers. You have to use small amounts but um, they can stop diarrhea. I'm gonna use charcoal powder because it like attracts toxins. That's why they use charcoal like for overdoses and things like that because it like sucks stuff up into it. And then I'm going to use fennel for um, helping with gas pains and things like that. And then I'm going to use, what was the other? Oh, cramp bark because to help with the stomach cramp feeling. that all ground up. Okay, so there's a little bit of charcoal powder. 
fennel, and a little bit of cramp bark. And then I decided to throw in a little ginger too for some for the nausea. Okay, so this is all nice and ground up together and we'll put it into some capsules. that I have, but we'll give some of these to Tom and see if they help him. Buddy wants to go outside, but she's scared to go out by herself, so she asked Judah to go out. Right there, you want me to come out too? You can stay on the porch. You want down? You want to touch the ring? <laughs> Mom, look! Mom, look! Can yeah. You stay on them? They're getting all wet, huh? Dad, Dad, stand over the gun. Taking your dress off. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put egg in one of those cups of ice again. I remember one I put more or something down to bring the on it and then I the rain carried our neighbor's trash can down for a visit with our trash can. Thomas has been out here weed eating today and he just reported that he accidentally killed a snake with the weed eater and he's feeling pretty bad about it. Turn on. Look over there. You see his head pretty much going back, but... Right? Yeah. Aww. That's sad. So it didn't... 
He's probably still alive, obviously, but very injured. There's such a thing as snake vets? I don't know. That's really sad. This peach tree came back from the roots there. And both these cherries are looking pretty good. Here and here that we planted this spring. This one actually flowered, but it doesn't look like there's any fruit on it. Now this peach tree. I don't know. Look at him trying to. How did he get hurt? I promise. He's, he's opened his weed eater. He's opened his mouth. And... Let's go take it to the vet. I don't think so. Why? Because. We should put it down. Well, well, we can't Why don't you see if you can press the skin back over his wound and then sure, you can, can put some grass in there to make him a little comfortable. Mom. Mom. I want him to make it like Mom, when you touch him, then he will... It's like all curled up inside of him. You can like get it. Well, Thomas, you kill it, or you hurt it, so you can do it. <laughs> Look, We're you're, all scared. You're melee, so you can do it. Mom, I saw it. You saw his meat. I think it's like his skin is gone. Like it's just the. Yeah, his skin is gone. It has no skin. That's just like a. How did it get hurt? Um, I know I, you get him Mom has accidentally hit him with the weed eater. He has no really It makes you feel sad. <laughs> just a minute. Oh, he just pooped himself. We should like, do you think he'll survive or something? I don't know. Dealing with an injured garden snake. Uh, I can only assume that will probably happen when somebody is out weeding or mowing in the yard and accidentally hurts the harmless snake. Uh, the one I'm holding is a checkered garter snake, and you can see where they get their name by the checkerboard pattern. And if they've got a uh, skin laceration that's not too serious, um, you could probably maintain them for a short amount of time in a dry cage on newspaper or paper towel. He's a, he's, he's a free snake. He's free. He looks worse by... Oh, yeah, he's a lot more chipper than he was, wasn't he? I think it's long gone. Asher's cantaloupe bit the dust. Whoa. And the watermelon did. Only a speck of a pumpkin still hanging on over here. Mom, there was one of my green beans that wasn't doing very good. It, it like lived. It was like that for a few days. I didn't do anything with it. But then one day I stuck a stick on it and then I leaned it up against the stick and now it's all of a sudden really good. Is it? Asher picked his first green bean tonight and then we shared it together, me and him and Eden. So mom, this is the one that was loomed. Oh, and you got them all back to life, huh? Yeah. And they planted beets in there. I we planted beets in there. And in here, like three days ago. Hopefully they'll come up. Who's in charge of these? Those are where I was going to plant some of my herbs, but I haven't ever done it. I got them started inside, though. That little pumpkin patch of Eden's is actually doing really good. Eden, look! Look! Pumpkin flower! Look at that! It's got a flower! That's our first one. I think that's probably the only one we're going to get pumpkins from this year, but it's exciting, isn't it? The other day I was looking all over for sunflowers for Daddy for some medicine to make him, and I couldn't find any. There's one going, growing right there. Oh, I mowed up a few sunflowers. Did you? Yeah. I found some down at a couple blocks away, but 
I should have just looked more carefully here, I guess. Oh, that, that one, that one's got different leaves on it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that cute little row of baby corn that's never going to get very big this year, it doesn't look like. Asher went through asparagus forest. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, there's one back there with flowers on it even. Yeah. Sure enough, I don't need it now. Oh. I was just oh, looking for it when Dad wasn't feeling anything. good the other day. There's some more little baby tomatoes. Peppermint's starting to get some flowers on it. A few of them. And look how pretty the echinacea's getting. To it's poke you? No, no, there's a bee on my finger. A bee on your finger? Yeah, it's still here. <laughs> Asher did it. He got the tree cut down. This maple tree died a couple, well, died this year, I think. We've had it a few years, but apparently didn't like living at our house. So most of my little plants are growing well. Some of them are getting to a point of needing to be thinned. Here's these thyme, they're just doing good. And the lemon balm looks, oh no, this is marshmallow, sorry. Looking good. And what were these? Oh, these are the time. I switched the trays. I switched the trays around to kind of let the light get more even on everything, and I forget that they're on the opposite side now. I've got a couple of rosemary plants. There's one here and one here. The other three haven't sprouted anything yet. And a few, I think these are the mullein. And nothing has come up from the wood betony, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get anything from those or not, but we'll keep waiting. And what's this? This is the plantain. They're doing really good. See them there. And this is lemon balm. And over here we have some sheep sorrel. It's what? Well, it's my anniversary today. So July 24th. So I'm hoping that maybe around the beginning to mid-September these will be big enough that we can plant them outside like permanently. All of these are either perennials or biennials so that they'll grow at least two seasons and hopefully continuously and um, be the beginning of my like really getting a good medicinal herb garden going. I don't have a green thumb so I'm doing my best and I'm hoping I'm hoping that I'm successful. So I'm trying different things, seeing what works, and so far this method of starting in midsummer for a fall planting, I'm hoping will work better for me than starting um, early or early in the spring for us like spring planting because I can keep these outside where they're already acclimated and there's no need to like move them out and try to harden them off and everything. So um Obviously with a lot of vegetables and things that wouldn't work, but with stuff like this that's perennial, I'm hoping that this will be a way that I can get lots of plants for not very much money. So if I am successful with all of these, this is 45 potential plants here. Then inside today I actually planted 30 more plants. So that's a total of 75 plants. And I planted five um, chase tree plants. These are the Vitex. They're like good for hormones and burdock, five of those, five of the arnica, five motherwort. Um, motherwort is for heart problems and um, energy and things like that. Arnica is for blunt wounds like bruises and things. Burdock is like a blood cleanser and it's actually the root is just eaten as a vegetable also. Then we have evening primrose which is also kind of a hormonal thing and parsley which is used for many things besides just eating. Well that was my sister on the phone and we just spent like an hour talking so now I'm going to finish telling you about the plants here. So this last little set over here I just bought a big pan, a disposable plant pan because it was out of my trays that I had here 
and I put these 12 cups in here and this is a little herb garden I'm starting for my friend for her birthday so her birthday is in two or three weeks and um, I thought it would be nice to start her some of her own herbs so that she can have at her house I just made one of each kind for her though not a whole bunch of them these seeds there's comfrey and skullcap and angelica they all had to have at least a month of cold before they'll germinate so i'm putting them in these bags i'm going to put a little like a spoonful of potting soil in there with them and then stick them in the refrigerator for the next month and then hopefully they'll sprout once we plant those in what august she's on you just say something about it i'm gonna put it into the fridge and then they just grow we're gonna put the um these seeds into the refrigerator because they have to have like a winter time before they'll sprout so we're gonna mix them with some dirt and so we're, we're, um, we're making them think that's winter yes we're tricking the seeds it's exactly what we're doing Okay, so now they're ready for the refrigerator. So here's the final update for this video on how my little seeds are coming along and this is the tray that I'm making for my friend for her birthday and that's in three days I'll be giving this to her and she's got some evening primrose coming up and the thyme and the wormwood. The rest of the stuff hasn't sprouted yet. These are all the seeds I started second time around and I've got some parsley coming up in a few cups and some evening primrose on these and then all of my burdock has come up these are the ones I planted the first time around this is the row of plantain and they're all coming along getting a second pair of leaves on most of those I'm gonna have to thin some of these and this row is the lemon balm and two of the cups didn't sprout anything this is the sheep sorrel so I've got one two cups of sheep sorrel in it and I've got one oregano plant that's coming along all right somebody found her mommy outside <laughs> the mullen there's a few little tiny baby mullins coming along Then it looks like none of the wood betony has ever sprouted, so I don't know if they're going to grow. But I've got five successful cups of wormwood, and these um, marshmallows are coming along nicely. They're doing the best so far. All five of them are growing, and then all five of the pine plants are going nicely. Of all the 2000s, except for 2009, I couldn't find any. I have 2017, 2016, 2015, 2016, 12, 11, 10, and then I don't have 9, but then I all fall the way down to 2000. Really? Well, keep looking. Can you say bye bye? Mommy! Can you tell everyone bye-bye? No. Nope.